Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your week ahead forecast for the week of December the 9th through to the 15th. I went ahead, shuffle of cards, laid them all out, see what's going on for Gemmies. What do we have here? First up, oh, Wheel of Fortune in the upright, followed next by the King of Pentacles in the upright, and next we have the Six of Pentacles upright, followed then by the Major Arcana of the Moon in reverse, and Lastly, we have the Six of Cups in the upright. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you. First of all, Gemini, for your overall energy, isn't that nice? You have the Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. This represents being in the right place at the right time. You could be. This could be a very lucky week for you, uh, Gemini. You could just find a, a fortunate uh, circumstances that work in your favor. For some of you, you could uh, land uh, the perfect job, the perfect client if you work for yourself. This can also represent um, being in the right place at the right time to find your um, latest romantic interest. So it's beautiful energy. Glad to see this for you. This is where you're moving with the energies of the universe. There's no resistance here. You're moving forward. Beautiful. Nice to see this for you. Coming right off the hop, we do see here the King of Cups in the upright, or sorry, the King of Pentacles in the upright. King of Pentacles, his court card could be representing a person. Uh, if it's representing a person, this is Earth energy, that of uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, it could be that there is an Earth sign um, coming into the scene, maybe this is a lucky person or helping you with a, a lucky break in in some area of your life but uh, the king of pentacles is uh, very stable energy this is someone if they have something to offer you they uh, you can take it to the bank so to speak because this person's may take a long time to make up their mind or maybe even get to you but this person's uh, steady and solid as she goes so for others of you, the King of Pentacles can represent a real estate agent, a financial advisor, or someone dealing with high finance, a CEO of a company. This person could be of assistance to you. For some of you, with the Wheel of Fortune being here, maybe you um, land a, a great deal on a property or on a real estate deal or something like that. For others of you, again, it could be a great deal to a uh, great time to invest because the luck is with you. Um, some of you might even win a few dollars in the lottery, <laughs> and maybe you go to the King of Pentacles and invest it. <laughs> wise choice so the next card we have up is the six of pentacles in the upright position this is beautiful energy this points to generosity fairness and balance and equality returning to a relationship for some of you that maybe lost its balance for others of you this can point to a generosity coming to you perhaps from family members even from the bank he is this card is right next to the King of Pentacles. If any of you are seeking a mortgage or a loan or something like that, there could be a big yes uh, coming from someone this week for others of you. This could, the generosity can go both ways. Maybe someone needs your assistance, whatever the situation is. There's fairness, equality, and balance coming to the situation. Now, moving on towards the weekend, we do see the moon card here, Major Arcana in the reverse position. Uh, the Pisces card, when the card is in the upright, this can point to confusion, um, delusion, <laughs> self deception deception coming from others uh, things looking one way misunderstandings that kind of energy when the card is inverted however clarity is coming to you this week uh, Gemini from maybe from a person could be from this king of Pentacles could be from anyone or it's just maybe your own insight perhaps you're seeing a situation in a different light now and uh, the the truth is coming out and you're seeing things for what they are so the confusion is about to end or if there was a misunderstanding with someone the misunderstanding gets cleared up and it could be someone with your from your past because the last card you have up is the six of cups in the upright position the blast from the past card this can represent it comes towards the weekend maybe some of you are getting together with family members friends old friends or that kind of gathering get together perhaps you haven't seen them in a while and um you never know what you could find there because the six of pentacles or sorry the six of cups can sometimes point to um 
where we're, you know, meeting up with someone from the past, it could be a romantic interest uh, because the Six of Cups can point to that sort of soulmate energy. If it's not someone from the past, your literal past, it could represent someone that you meet that feels like someone from your past, maybe a past life connection. But whatever it is, the Six of Cups is in the upright position. It looks like if this is some kind of family get together or friends get together, all, you know, you could be sharing uh, good times and remembering the the old days, the good old days. <laughs> so really nice reading here for you, Gemini. And in closing, I'm going to be pulling a Chakra Wisdom card uh, to see what other messages are around for my Gemmies. And what card do we have here for Gemmy? We have expansion. Oh my goodness. Expansion, Gemini. You're expanding something. Could be your social circle. Could be your finances with the King of Pentacles here. Um, yeah, and the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> and let's pull a uh, astrology card for you. Let's see what kind of uh, zodiac sign might be prominent for you this week or zodiac energy. We do see um, Capricorn here, accomplishment. Capricorn could be a uh, sun, moon, or rising, could be, um, oh, we do see the King of Pentacles here too, so maybe Capricorn is someone you're going into business with or bringing you some good news. Uh, excellent, excellent reading, accomplishment, um, definitely a great reading, Wheel of Fortune. Two thumbs up here, Jemmy. <laughs> so that is your reading, I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, otherwise I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.